Apollo 12 lifted off on November 14, 1969, bound for the moon's ocean of storms. Astronauts Pete Conrad and Alan Bean would attempt a pinpoint landing of their lunar module near the site of the robotic probe Surveyor 3, launched two years earlier. Things got off to a bumpy start for Conrad, Bean, and command module pilot Dick Gordon when lightning struck the crew's Saturn V rocket shortly after liftoff. Okay, we just lost the platform, gang. I don't know what happened here. We had everything in the world drop out. Fuel cell lights and AC bus light, fuel cell disconnect, AC bus overload, one and two, main bus A and B out. For a few moments, it appeared that the flight might be in jeopardy. But quick thinking from mission control and the crew got things back on track, and Apollo 12 arrived at the moon on November 19th. With Gordon orbiting overhead, Conrad and Bean touched down within 600 feet of the Surveyor probe. Conrad took his first steps on the moon at 6.44 a.m. on November 19, 1969. Bean joined him minutes later. The two astronauts made two moonwalks and spent more than 31 hours on the lunar surface. They retrieved several pieces of Surveyor 3, including the spacecraft's camera. The crew returned to Earth on November 24th. The decade was not yet out, and four men had walked on the moon and come home to tell about it.